database servers. MariahDB is a database based on an older MySQL database. It was also created by the same people. MariahDB is a drop-in replacement for MySQL. MariahDB is a relational database management system, so that's RDBMS, and implements the Structured Query Language, or SQL. So here's a little bit of the history. So MariahDB, well, it's kind of a fork. Um, first, MySQL was created and replaced Oracle in many projects, especially in open source. Oracle is not was not very happy with this and it wanted to do something to solve the problem so there was a time when mysql was not financially able to continue on and so that became an issue so oracle was trying to get rid of mysql and it acquired multiple companies that provided libraries to mysql and that was a bit of an issue eventually sun microsystems acquired mysql did the whole white knight thing and saved it from Oracle takeover. However, a little bit later, Oracle discovered that they could grab MySQL, Java, and other things all at once, and they bought Sun Microsystems. Eventually, the developers of MySQL decided to fork the MySQL code, and they formed MariahDB. The current versions of CentOS use MariahDB as the database. There are a couple of MariahDB security concerns. First of all, the default MariahDB installation does not have a root password. So you can create users, database, tables, all without setting up a password. Also, this might not be a, a major concern, security concern, but administrators can reset the root password for the databases and get full access if they want to. It might actually be a helpful thing if you lose access to your database and you can't get back into it. The root user can then help you get back into it. There are many useful packages. There is the MariahDB, um, that is the client programs, the MariahDB server, which is the server, and then there is the MySQL-Python package which provides a way for the Python language to communicate with the MySQL or MariahDB servers. Generally, the configurations for MariahDB are just fine and you can leave them alone. However, if you do want to go in there and make some kind of a change, you can go into the etc slash my.cnf.d directory and you can find configuration files in there you can mess with. The standard format of the configuration files is a name equals value pairs. For example, you can type in port equals one, two, three, four, five, and you can change which port it runs on. Here are a couple of a sample MariahDB commands. So from the command line, you can type in MySQL to get into MariahDB. You can also do options such as minus U and the username or minus H and the host name and minus P to prompt for a password. And this will get you into the MySQL or MariahDB databases depending on which one you actually have installed. So once you're inside, you can create databases. You just type in create database and then the name of the database you want to create. And then to actually use that database, you use the word use and the database name and it will change your prompt and indicate that you are now inside of that database. Once you're inside the database, you can create tables. So here's an example, create table people, which gives it two columns. You have name and age. Name is a primary key and it is a var char 250 and age is an integer. So with those tables, here are a couple of sample SQL statements. You can insert values into that people table. You can update the people table and replace information. You can do select statements to pull information out. And you can also delete records from the table. So these are the four basic commands. You have insert, 
update, select, and delete. There are other commands, obviously, but those are the main four. You can also do things like uh, insert into the table, and then if there are duplicate keys, you can just update instead, which is very common for things like logs, and so I do that quite a bit. So if you're using Python and you want to do programming, here are a couple of pieces of, well, a bunch of code examples thrown together onto one page. You want to import the MySQLDB library, and you want to make sure that you pay close attention to case here because the case is important. You want to connect to it, and then once you connect to the database, you want to create a cursor. A cursor is where you send your commands, so you just send your commands, you can execute the SQL statements, and after you're executing the, after you've executed the statements, you can sometimes grab back data. If you make changes, so inserts and deletes, sometimes you want to commit that, and that is committed not with the cursor, but with the actual connection, and then when you want to close, you can close the connection itself. If you're trying to troubleshoot MariahDB, you want to make sure your IP address is correct if you are going to a different machine, which is not usually the case, but you could. Um, you want to make sure the service is running. If it's not running, it's very difficult to connect to the database. You want to verify the firewall is not in the way if you are going over something. Normally, people just run it on their local machine and they use Apache to actually get out. So you're interfacing with a web server, and the web server is talking directly to the database. And so the firewall is not an issue. You want to make sure that any SE Linux stuff is not changed. If it is changed, you go and verify things. You want to make sure if you're going to ro remote machine that the host is up. And make sure that ports are open if they need to be. And if there are any problems and you can't figure it out, just take a look at the logs. Most of these things only matter if you are using a remote machine, which is very unlikely. Anyway, this is your MariahDB or database overview.